What's your favorite thing about Miranda? I think I like that she's just always down to do really anything. Like it could be as simple as sitting on the couch watching a movie or I don't know, going to the lake and swimming. She's not scared to hop in and get in a kayak and get a little dirty, so she's always a fun time. So just imagine like a fireball and then that fireball, when you get close, like the warmth is like just love and just wanting to be like inclusive. She wants everyone to be a part of it and she doesn't want anyone to feel left out. Uh, yeah, she's just super loving and very selfless. I love you because you put other people first and you actually care about, you know, where people are and what they have to say. I love you because you always take care of me and you always ask me how I'm doing and you care more than just like the surface value of what's going on. I love you because you like to spend time with me and you like to share with me and you actually genuinely love me and show me what that feels like. And I love you because you embody what Christ wants you to be and you pursue that very heavily. And I think that is one of the most beautiful things in the world. I remember the first time that I ever saw you, a core memory ingrained in my mind. You were standing in the mall with your current girlfriend and friend while I ran around the mall dressed up on a birthday scavenger hunt with your sister. <laughs> Looking from the outside in, I don't think anyone would have thought that we would ever be together. Even from that very first day, I knew that there was something special about you. My sister brought home a really cute and attractive girl. That was funny. And yeah, the same respect for my sister. I was like, I can't pursue that at all because that's her best friend. Yeah. So we had to like... We just became really good friends. We did yeah. life together. We did church together. We did mission trips together. I mean, you name it, and we were always together in the midst with other people and always moving, but we always had this thing of our eye contact and like our body language was Trying very- Trying to sneak holding hands. Yeah, like during prayer and stuff, we would try and get close like in the circle knowing that maybe we would be able to hold hands and be together. And then it wasn't until years and years later that the timing was perfect. Oh my God. Goodness! Do I get to come hug you? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. You okay? You sweating? I'm sweating, but holy cow! Does it look good? Wait a second. Like it is perfect. Oh wow! Isn't it pretty? That is beautiful. I love it so God had truly had his hand over us. It really was all in his perfect timing. You were there for me when no one understood what was going on. After coming back from missions overseas, I experienced a lot of culture shock and trauma, but you would meet me once a week in a coffee shop to talk about my trips and what I had experienced. You were like no one I had ever encountered. You listened, you cared, you asked me questions about my heart, missions, faith, my dreams, fears. It all clicked. This is why I had the uncontrollable urge to you when I was so young. The Father was preparing us to be together. I love you because you are trustworthy and you allow me to be open and honest and authentic with you, which is something that I feel like is so rare for both of us to come in. Like, I'm broken, I'm messy, and you completely take it all and you want it all and you always say that and that's something that just makes me fall in love with you every single day of like I want it all. You are always inviting people in. You're so inclusive. You're always wanting everyone to have a place at the table which I feel like is just like the father and that's something that always drew me into you and I love you just because you're consistent and you're loyal and you're steadfast. Like you are who you are every day. Emotions do not waver you. You are a solid rock. You are my cornerstone. 
There isn't enough time in a day or space on a page to fully express how much I love you and will continue to love you. I promise to always give you my everything, to put you first in any situation, and to continuously try to make you smile. I will keep pushing you to be the woman you're striving to be and always be a support whenever you need it. I will keep working to build the life we want and keep us moving forward. I promise to be diligent in solving any problems that may arise and to put God in everything we do. I will continue to have meaningful conversations as we figure out this crazy world and continue being your best friend. I'm so excited for forever with you and I can't wait to build our life how we want it. That's more chickens, <laughs> dogs, humans, and even goats. I'm here for it. I'd choose you any and every day, rain or shine. You're the one for me and the one that I want. I will continue to pursue you until the end of time. You're the most amazing person I've ever met, Miranda. Sign me up for forever. You make your love story an epic one because Miranda's heart deserves it. I'm so thankful for how it all worked out. I'm so proud of the versions of ourselves that we are today. Brigham Paul, I love you so much. <laughs> You're my best friend in the entire world. I love our life together and I vow to never stop fighting for it.